Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today we are taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Pudgy Pig figure. The retail version of him specifically, um, so this is obviously not the very very overpriced and very expensive and ridiculous Hasbro Pulse Con version that comes in the fancy lunchbox style packaging and comes with those pieces of food. Uh, no, this is the half the cost version of it, that is just a wide retail version uh, that you can get on Amazon, Hasbro Pulse, uh, fan channel retailers, Target has it in stores, and such like that. So, I got mine from Amazon, uh, I ended up using a gift card on him, so that because of the fact that I'm going to be double dipping on this dude, because uh, I am going to get the Pulse Con version as well, uh, when I do get that one I will compare it. Uh, but like, this one is the only one that you can get Tom Whalen box art on, uh, it's, you know, half the price. Uh, the only thing you're missing is the food, and it's like, just buy some plastic doll food. You can get it for cheaper than you would be paying the additional $30 for the food in the other box. So they really shot themselves in the foot with this one. Uh, this is a weird release that has kind of sort of been officially announced by the Hasbro Pulse Twitter and Instagram this past Friday. But I don't know, here it is. So, <laughs> uh, very, very interesting box. It's um, same price point as like the Deluxe Monsters and like Eye Guy and stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely a much thicker box. It's the thickest lightning collection box, uh, you know, bar none. I mean, it's you have a lot of white space here, but it's super huge. You have a ton of white space on the other side with the Mighty Morphin logo. Of course, you still get a render of him on the back. I really like this box. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what else we use uh, for this, like, super thicker box. Maybe, possibly, it's possible the other deluxe uh, figures could use it. Because, like, we know that the uh, first wave of deluxe figures, Perantis Head, and the In Space Blue with the Galaxy Glider seem to just be using the same monster type box style. Uh, but possibly, like, if we when we get to the ones that have motorcycles, uh, like we're getting with Wild Force Red in Wave 2 and Time Force Green in Wave 3, possibly maybe they would use this kind of size box to fit the motorcycle. But that's just a theory. Um, we could see a uh, comparison here with Eye Guy's box, which uh, we took a look at Eye Guy the other day, and since he's kind of showing up in targets alongside each other, they kind of go well together. So you can just see the thickness difference in Pudgy Pig's box compared to I Guys. Like, this is our typical $30 box, and this is like two $30 boxes together. Um, but still, just the $30 price. So it's actually a really impressive box. Uh, but we should probably stop rambling on about the box and probably open the actual figure. So my endless review of boxes continues because this is definitely interesting. Uh, it's like a tray inside of a cardboard box. We've never had that kind of thing before. You still have like the backdrop in there that you typically would. And uh, here he is. So yeah, let's go ahead and get everything out of here and then we'll show him off in more detail. All right, so here's everything that you get out of the box for Pudgy Pig. So you get his fork, you get his knife, you get some hands, an effect piece and his mohawk. So we're gonna have to go ahead and clip that in there and I'm sure it's gonna make him very, you know, top heavy, but there's just two pegs in there and two pegs there. And then you're just gonna clip it in there and uh, see how tight we can get it in there. I'm not sure if it's gonna actually click or something. All right, looks like we got it in there pretty good. They will kind of make a little clicking sound uh, to know that you got it in there of the way. So uh, yeah, that is gonna be him there. So let's put him back there a little bit. Obviously that adds a little bit of height to him and uh, I'm sure it's gonna fall over at some point because uh, it's definitely a lot of weight there. Uh, but man, it's an interesting looking figure. So let's go ahead and just take a look at him. So here he is, Pudgy Pig. Very nice detailing. I think they did a really good job with the sculpt on this figure. Uh, you know, you got his big face. I mean, he's just a face with limbs, basically. <laughs> but you got his like Roman gladiator helmet, which uh, sculpted very nice. I think there's very nice little hair details and such in there. Like how that turned out. You got his ears on the side. I love how there's even the little tail down here. No articulation or anything like that, but there's just this little tail. So that's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, so I guess we can go ahead and take a look at his articulation uh, because it is going to be a different kind of, you know, figure. But uh, you have, you still have a butterfly joint in there, which is kind of surprising. You do get, you know, the ability for a full rotation of the arm, kind of. It can rotate there. It can bend just a single joint there. Uh, it can bend at the hand, you know, like it usually would and uh, kind of rotate there. Uh, let's see, the legs, those can move up and back. They're kind of ratcheted, sort of. They can rotate there. Double jointed knees, which that's just one of the joints that worked. The other one isn't there. There is a double jointed knee. Uh, rotation there, the foot can move. So, you know, they still get a pretty good amount of lightning collection articulation in here. 
for a figure that you're probably not going to be able to move too much. Uh, but you do get this awesome range on his mouth. You can open that thing pretty nicely. You have his uvula sculpted in there, which I'm sure you cannot see that at all. But it is sculpted back there, which is pretty neat. And you have this giant ton. Doesn't move or anything like that, but you can definitely fit a bunch of stuff in there. Um, I'd be... Okay, so there's not going to be any way... That looks, that looks wrong. <laughs> but there's not going to be any way for anything to get like stuck in here. It doesn't like go down in there. It, it, just kind of a tiny bit, but like you'll be able to shake some stuff out of there if you get anything stuck in there. So it would have been really cool if this version came with food. It does not. Um, but... You know, like I said earlier, if you just buy some doll food or something, that would work just fine. Or, of course, the Pulse Gun one does come with a couple pieces of food that you can put in there. But I do love the range that you get on there. <laughs> it's just pretty neat. So, yeah, I mean, it has, like, a nice clip to it, too. So that's pretty fun. Um, I do like this one. I think that this one scales a little bit better with Rangers, which we'll show off in a minute and also show it off with the other monsters. Uh, but he seems pretty stable, actually. I'm sure over time this will eventually make him fall over, but right now... He's actually impressing me, so that's pretty neat. So let's take a look at his accessories, his other hands. Uh, these are like his holding hands, but you have a kind of this splayed open hand and this fist, so nothing too crazy there. You get his fork and knife, which are very cheap. These are like dollhouse, like little children's, like, you know, kitchen set things. So you get uh, this fork there, just done up in like an all gray plastic. They're very cheap feeling, but they don't need to be you know, super crazy, but you can just, uh, you can slide that in his hand and then you can kind of get him to hold the fork, maybe. So there we go. We got the fork in his hand. So that looks pretty nice. And then we have his effect piece, which I'm pretty sure is a new color of the one that we had with Dino Charge Red and Wave 1. I don't think it's a uniquely molded piece or anything like that. I think it's just the first time we've had it in this lime green. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's not a new piece, but you can kind of just wrap that around one of the utensils or whatever if you want to do that and uh ooh, he's trying to do the splits there but yeah that looks pretty cool uh come on man stop doing the splits so yeah there is pudgy pig the lightning collection pudgy pig of course we're going to do some comparisons here so let's bring in the other monsters and rangers all right so there's how pudgy pig compares to the other mighty morphin monsters we've had released so far so of course monsters wave one with king sphinx and pumpkin wrapper and the brand new released eye guy figure that he kind of released alongside with so this was advertised to be more of a six inch scaled figure than like the eight inch one and i think you can kind of definitely see it i mean with the mohawk he pretty much comes up to the same height as everybody else uh, but he definitely is like a lower height i think it's a little bit more better scaled maybe still a little bit too big for a ranger possibly but i think it's definitely in the right direction and it looks pretty cool just having the four of these guys lined up here these iconic season one monsters and i'm looking forward to getting piranha set to join with them now, if you do want to add from season three, of course, we do have Tango Warriors, which are kind of a more beefier monster figure. So let me grab him off of the camera there. One of his wings fell off in my box somewhere. Uh, I'll, I can grab that later. But there is a Tango Warrior, kind of just chilling off to the side. So we'll move everybody over a little bit. So, so you can kind of get that scale. Pudgy, or Pudgy Pig, I think, was just holding a pumpkin wrapper there. All right, so there's that. So there's five of the monsters scaled together. And, uh, of course, we're going to bring in some rangers. I just brought in two random ones. I brought in Phantom Ranger for a male ranger uh, size comparison and Metallic Armor MMPR Pink for a female size comparison because I needed to get Metallic Armor Pink out for my Metallic Armor videos that are going to be coming out here pretty soon once those arrive because those are currently on the way. So there he is, scaled with a female and a male Power Ranger. And uh, I think that works pretty well. We can kind of probably zoom in a little bit on that one. Yeah, that's not too bad. So if you wanted, you can kind of open up the mouth and have him like starting to eat Phantom Ranger or something. So there's that if you wanted to do something like that, which how long is that going to stay there? Uh, we'll see. There we go. There's that happening. So <laughs> you can kind of do something like that if you want. Uh, but overall, it's just kind of a fun figure. And uh, I don't think the scaling is too horrible. All right, well, that's going to do it for my video review of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pudgy Pig Figure Retail Version. So I will leave a link in the description below to Amazon and Target, but you can find it at a bunch of other places. It should not be too hard to find. I'll also leave a link to Pulse because Pulse has it as well. And uh, we'll see it again in a couple months or whenever the PulseCon version ships out because uh, I did buy that version. And we'll take a look at how that compares to this version, but it should be 
the exact same figure. The only difference should be the packaging. But we'll take a look at that when the time comes. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, you can follow me on Twitter at Delivering Your Key or Atlantic PR. And I'll see you all next time.